is Rick with Hewer 1721. Look what we got here. We got the Ibex Rex 457. Tell me that isn't an awesome looking gun. <laughs> on top we have the Hawk 4 to 16 on here. Sidewinder 30. Uh, real nice scope for this gun. 4 to 16 is nice on the big bores. I like it. Hawk does a nice job with that. And today what, what we're going to work on today with this guy is we're going to do a little uh, 50 yard shooting. Then we'll stretch its legs and see if we can go out to 100, I don't know, maybe 150 if we get a chance. And a couple things to talk about. You can absolutely see the 22 millimeter pick rail that's on top here. And if you're gonna if you're gonna be putting a scope on this, of course, it does come with open sights, just so everybody knows that. You put a scope on it, go with high mounts. That's my suggestion. Make sure you go high mounts because of getting down on your cheek on your bottle. You can see the straight line here, if you understand. And that's one thing you want to have. This is a single, single breech door. You just cock that down like this. You load your ammo right in there, and that's where you put your ammo. And then it has a little safety here so you don't catch it there. And then you push that and put that back. Automatic safety, so you actually have to, you have to take it off of safety. It automatically goes on there. The gun probably weighs about, I'm thinking about seven pounds. There, you had to scope by eight and a half pounds. And you can see that the tank here, you're like, oh, I see that you're, you're foster fitting. This tank can be, uh, you can set it to however configuration you want and just lock it into place. You can turn that a little bit. I have it right there so I can see the gauge easy for the video. This uh, stock in the back just fits right over the bottle. You're looking at 480 cc's uh, in the tank. And you're filling the 250 bar. And you're probably getting anywhere a good three stretching four. You go for five, you're getting down there a little bit, but you'll get a good three shots out of this. Really, we're seeing really nice accuracy. I saw nice accuracy out of the 350s. Ryan, it's so cold, we can barely talk, you know. Ay, ay, ay. But we're seeing, we saw great accuracy out of that. But you know what? That's enough talking about this gun. Let's get down to the bench and shoot this gun. Okay, here we are at the 50 yard mark, and we got the, what is that, Pennsylvania grizzly bear down there? You guys She's know what that them. is? There he is. Here in PA, we call groundhogs Pennsylvania grizzly bears because they get that big. That's half-inch plate steel from Leaning Barn Ironworks. They made that. And we got the center punched out there. It's probably a two-inch center, I think, maybe. And uh, we're going to take some rounds on that and uh, see what we can do. My target stand, <laughs> I went to stick it in the ground. I was like, all right, what, what's going on? So I was trying to get my target stand I shoot paper with. It won't go on the ground. So we're going to shoot plate steel. It's a big bore. Why not? Have some fun. All right. Okay. I'd say that groundhog, Pennsylvania grizzly bear, has a headache. <laughs> you see that, Ryan? 823. Now, just so everybody knows out here, okay, we're dealing with uh, 20 degree temperatures. So I believe as this warms up, you're gonna see chronograph numbers go up. So don't don't judge it on this, you know, in all honesty. We'll shoot this and see what we got. All right, Ryan. Let's see if there's a drop off. I'm sure it's gonna go down in pressure because this steadily goes down. So let's take a look. Okay. All right. Boy, it's smacking that pretty good. I took the top of his head off air. I aimed just a hair bit higher and didn't need to. All right. I think this thing's speaking for itself. Man, that's nice. That is nice. dropping down in pressure you can see that there that one I think from what I've been testing with this I mean it is cold out and stuff but the testing that I've seen uh, so far is three shots with this guy and I mean you can get the fourth I'm going for the fifth I'll try and go for the center section but we lost a little bit of juice on him so I'll go for the center section and see if we can hit the old flapper right on the money baby <laughs> Mr. Lee, New England Air Guns, 
Come on, Avonix, nice job on the Ibex Rex here. That is that is some really good shooting there. New England Air Guns, really appreciate you guys sending this. Uh, that was awesome. Ryan, you see that? That, that was, was awesome. Right on the money, man. I mean, right on the money. Good accuracy. The one got away from me, but eh, we'll get them all again. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, 698 there on the chronograph through our five shots. Like I said, I think warmer weather, we see a lot better numbers. Okay, well, now we're at 150 yards, and we got uh, Wally Coyote down there. And Yeah, we know he's not in the best of shape, but we just spray painted him. So we're going to take some shots. We got the drone up, and we're going to run some footage there, and we'll take a shot down there and see where it lands and, and see if I can put some rounds on this coyote. You ready, Ryan? I am. All right. All right, I think I saw that. I actually saw that, all right. All right. That is one dead coyote. 150, no problem. All right. That one I just wanted to put in the, right in the throat pocket there. I moved it around. I'm not using the same aim point, guys. So it's not it's not the same. So, all right, nice. Yeah, he's toast. Well, there you go, 150. I mean, that's. That's super easy. We got I, I moved it around a little bit and got a couple shots there. All right. I think shot number four I might be stretching, so we'll, I'll give her a little elevation there. Yeah. You, did you move the drone on purpose? <laughs> no. Why would I? Why would I do that? <laughs> I call a little elevation. All right. Wind's pushing me around yeah. down there a little bit. There you go. Gut shot. That uh, gut shot there? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that dropped off a lot. Yeah. So you can see that good? Oh, yeah. Do I have three hits on the upper there? Is that what they are? It does look, look like... like this. Does it look like three, three, like that? Give me a second. Punch, Is that what we're looking at? Punch in a little bit here. I know I got the two, I got the one, the one the throat's the one that I wanted to put right on the money and that one did. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So you got, I got the one like gut that shot. throat, spine, and a little bit low in, in like the shoulder blade and then you got that gut shot. Okay, so that last one, that fourth shot, that's a lot of drop at 150, so that's good to know. Yeah. All right, now that's pretty cool. How's the drone doing, good? Good, we're doing good. All right. Okay, let's do a little trigger pull test here and see what we got. Let's see where she was pulling here. Let's take a look. And we're right at uh, 3 pounds, uh, 11 ounces. Let's take another look at this. Because I, I think it's right about there. We'll, we'll take a second look. Yep, 3 pounds, 5 ounces. So that's stock right there. You get to see that right there, and uh, that's about right. It's just a nice squeeze uh, to it. It is adjustable. You can adjust that. So, all right, let's see what else we got. Okay, here we are at the end of the video. <laughs> what a ton of fun. Yeah, uh, having a big bore like this at 400 foot-pounds was pretty nice. And you got to see the 50-yard group looked really, really good to me. And uh, it's been a long day of filming, but uh, this gun here... Even at one, what was that, 150, 160, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Something like that. That that was nice accuracy out of that. And, yes, I did move it around on the Coyote, going for different shots. And you can see that last shot hit low. That's the gun losing power. So when I said about three shots, it's up to you. My opinion, stick with the three shots. But uh, can't thank New England Air Guns enough. Thank you so much for sending this for us for a review. Really appreciate it, Mr. Lee, for all your 
time that you talked to me and, and we went over some things. Really appreciate you too. This is Rick with Shooter1721. Thanks for watching.